Hello and welcome back. Uh, things are going fairly good today. Uh, I haven't had any real trouble. I thought yesterday maybe I should bump the tank down a degree just for the new plants. Which seem to be doing well because this, look at this purple one. It's, uh, it's growing out all these white spiky things. I assume that's how it grows out new leaves or... So... It seems to be happy as it's progressing. That's good. I don't really see anything bad going on up here. When I brought it home, this one was kind of rough. Uh, even starting to look a little brown, but it's, it looks like it's livening, stiffening up now. It was limp. Uh, these guys, the, the swords are doing good. They still seem to be fairly, fairly uh, firm. These ones are twisting around to uh, face the light, so they're uh, they're not in shock, I don't think, as they're trying to trying to reposition themselves. You can see them slowly flipping over, so the top because uh, I put them in sideways. So if uh, plants seem to be doing okay, but because I don't, I dropped temperature down a degree. She's hanging out by the uh, filter. Not very happy about it. Or sorry about the heater. She's trying to trying to get warm, so I just bumped it back up a degree so she can be where she's used to because she's dealing with too much as it is, and she doesn't seem to want to deal with 86 degrees. So we're gonna bring her back to 87 degrees. When I'm set to 86 degrees, it'll drop down as low as 85, and then the heater kicks back in. So she's uh, she's not liking being a, a little bit colder. We're fixing that now. I'm gonna send the uh, temperature back up. A couple. It'll take about an hour because I got a couple. These are uh, 200 watt heaters, and I got one in the sump as well, just like it. So it, it doesn't take long, especially in the sump. It warms it up down there real quick, and then it gets pumped in up here. Then it gets pushed out. To, gets pushed out by this this way. Also gets sucked up by the. The filter and thrown across so the water uh, the, the heat gets distributed very quickly in this tank as I've got uh, over 1800 gallons per hour worth of, uh, of flow uh, going on so uh, yeah yeah other than her She's letting me know though. You see these fish will let you know. Like clearly she's she's feeling cold. She doesn't like it. So she's a little dark. And uh and then she's hanging out by the, the heat source. That means she's telling me she doesn't like the new temperature. Although all these guys are just fine with it. I'm gonna bring it back up because uh and hope the plants are just gonna cope with that extra degree. They're coping They've been okay so far. I think we're going to be okay. Uh, it was one of two things with my uh, my last attempt at plants. and I believe it was just I had an old light. It wasn't throwing enough lumens to keep the, uh, to keep the plants alive. And my plants had just struggled the whole time. So... Now with this, uh, with my new light set up, things are quite bright, and um, hopefully I got a better, a much better result. I'm not going to buy any more plants until I see what happens with these. Then I've got to be careful to buy plants that only like the warmth, which I don't know anything about plants. Like I fully expect uh, these could all die on me, but. I believe they're hardy species. I don't know anything about this guy, but like I said, look at all those little white shoots. Those weren't there when I brought it home. Those all showed up the last couple days. So these plants are really pulling a lot of nutrients out of my water, and they're uh, already trying to grow. At least that one is. I'm, I'm seeing some new shoots up here as well on the tips here. That's a new that's a new little shoot that popped out and it's more green looking than the rest of the plant because it's this plant 
I guess didn't travel well. They had just got a shipment of plants in. So this plant is uh, it's in rough shape actually, but it, it's, it's going to be okay. It lost a lot of leaves when I put it in the tank. And it's, uh, we'll see what happens with it. I think it's going to be red and green when it perks back up. Um, yeah, the swords are just gorgeous. I hope they don't melt. Fishies have all been eating good. Eulies on the prowl looking for scraps. He's a good little bottom feeder. She's cold. She's pissed off because she's cold. But if I go and put some food in, she'll run right up to the front. She just wants to be warm. Look at the size of her eyes, that poor little thing. If I can't get her to grow soon, she's going to... She's Encephalitis is going to get her. And that means that her brain and her eyes are continuing to grow. This is what happens when they get stunted. And her eye size will be just the same size as, as, as uh, her brothers and sisters over here right now. And her brain size is the same size as a fish this big. So what happens is that puts a lot of pressure on their brain and their central nervous system. And uh, if, I can't, if I can't kick her into growing soon, and she's just fussy about food. So she likes to eat the things that won't make her grow. Like blood worms, she pigs out on those. She wants primarily blood worms and that's a problem with discus if they if they go this route and they they're like fussy um, they kind of do themselves in but I'm gonna keep working with her and uh, we're gonna hope for the best but you can see her eyes are getting quite large and uh, she doesn't pick up the pace soon she's going she go find herself in one big headache and then it's going to be downhill from there. I'm hoping for the best, but she might be my next loss. So, uh, yeah, we'll leave it there. Thanks for watching. They really like their new plants. Look at them, eh? You can tell it's brightened up their day. They like to hang around them. It's bright my day. I'm glad I did it. I waited too long for to, to put plants in, but I wanted to make sure they were going to live. Now that I have the lights, I think we're good. Have a wonderful day.